Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Inward Coast Digitizing here in Pensacola, Florida. I do home movies, digitize all home movies, films, stuff like that. So we're looking pretty good on the shelf now. We got this order. We got these couple orders here. We got the orders, three orders we're working on. We got the order that finished up yesterday and another order that these orders are going to be picked up today. So we're doing pretty good and Friday we're supposed to get another 40 or so tapes. The last thing I want to do is come up here during the day, during my store hours, and sit around and wait for customers. Um, I wanna be up here working. And then if a customer comes in, great. I don't wanna just be sitting up here waiting for a customer to come in. So it's, it's really nice to have those tapes on the shelf. I can designate maybe one, two, three. Maybe I'll designate these five players or these six players here for that order over the next couple days, for the next few days, and then the little orders that come through, I'll designate these five. So kind of work out a system to where you're kind of always doing something in the store. But yeah, let's get back to it. So after I get all these tapes going, I'm gonna try to maybe clean that player up or switch that player out so I can Keep this ball rolling. I don't know if I need to though. Because I have two more on the end I can use. I got an interesting kind of marketing strategy on Facebook Marketplace. This is kind of a tip of the trade or really just any kind of marketing. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go on Facebook Marketplace and I will post a VCR for sale which is legitimately for sale, but I also include in there that I transfer home movies. So then the customer, so the person who's looking for a VHS player is probably somebody who's trying to transfer their home movies. So, if they're looking for a, a VHS player and you tell them, hey, you just transfer home movies, there's a chance that maybe they'll just give you a call to do the work. And if not, they can come in and I usually tell them, yo, bring your VC you know, bring in your VCR that's not working anymore and let's see if I can fix it. And if not, I have a VCR I can sell you or, you know, we can look at your VHS tapes and maybe I can just transfer them instead of you spending all that money on a new VCR. And that's kind of the... the <laughs> the pitch and it works sometimes I'm sure there's plenty of customers that come through based on that Facebook marketplace post and you can do the same things with film really just any services you have like if someone's looking to buy a lawnmower then odds are they need a lawnmower to cut the grass and if you post one for sale but also post your business there's a better chance that maybe when they need um, someone to cut the grass for them that now they got your number so it, you know it's just kind of a marketing strategy Facebook's pretty pretty unique for stuff like that pro tip guys like and subscribe if you're still watching I'm sure the only people that are still watching this are my subscribers which I really appreciate you guys um, I really enjoy doing YouTube I have another YouTube channel uh, and the, my name on there is Sweet Baby Sean. If you guys want to check that out, I kind of do like car repair and and uh, just kind of my backyard chickens and just miscellaneous camera reviews and stuff like that. That channel's got about 5,000 or so subscribers. I've got one video on there that is uh, doing really well. It's almost to a million views, which is insane. Having one, a video that's at a million views, I never really expected that to happen. It's a really silly video too, so if you wanna go watch that, that'd be, that could be fun for you. <laughs> So once I drop this one on this computer here, then I'll have to fix that other laptop. If that other laptop hadn't broke or stopped working correctly, then I would be able to do all these 
right now. The sound on this thing is it's just so bizarre. It's all right. So the GoPro is just dying on me. So I'll just show you guys what I do. Plug it into battery. Now plug that into the GoPro. All right. So this video is playing right now. We got a play symbol here. We got a a fast forward oh, okay so i can see it and rewind so we know there's an issue here with the guides so let's just see my uh light went bad hmm. You know, it almost had it on that side, but... Got a little scotch? Sure. This left side here controls the top of the screen. Did everything go okay up there? Right side controls the bottom. Yeah. It goes out. I wonder if it's the audio. No, she couldn't have. No, it's definitely the. I get you. The audio side. I'm gonna grab a different screwdriver for that. I'm gonna light it up for you guys a little bit. That's working. See, now it's jumping all over the place. This should do it. Let's see, this should... It looked like it was doing good now. No. Square. Hey, Bernie! Larry! Great party last night, Bernie! Your best ever! Ladies! Hello! How are you today? Great. Hi. Well, that actually looks pretty good. I think I may have done it. Let's try a different tape. We got Empire Records. Now, it's probably just reading the hi fi sound. So we're going to have to go put a mono tape in to see. For me? Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, it says hi fi there. So for us to test it out, we need to put a mono tape in. I don't think I have any mono uh, VHSs except for home movies. So. Still looks like it could be done better. Let's see. I am still hearing that high pitch noise. You guys are going to put a lid on. All right, the high-pitched noise is coming from somewhere else, so we're good. Hey. 
so we were able to get that one to go. Let's try another tape just to be sure. Well, that looks and sounds great. All right, so that's definitely a mono track there. And it doesn't sound good. And it's cutting out. Sounds okay to me for now. I think that uh, once I go to use it for the next tape, I'll, I'll have to do a little bit more tweaking, but looked good, sync looked good. Pretty happy with that. We'll take this, we'll take a little bit more film guard. I'm gonna grab it with my hand like that. And we're just gonna and roll it to clean it. Plenty of different ways to do this, but this thing comes in handy for cleaning the film, guys. Ugh, look how dirty. You can pick these up on eBay for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. I found this one for six bucks at a thrift store. And we're going to have to do this multiple times, guys. Look at how gross that is. Wow. If you were to try to send this off to one of those companies that advertises on Facebook like crazy and on Google and just crazy advertising. And what I could do is I could set up a little rig where I can just send this through here. And I might do that, but... Right now, I'm just going to do my initial pass. Yeah, this is uh, definitely seeing film in better shape than this, I is for sure. And this film guard stuff is, whew, it is stinky. It's a good smell. It just kind of smells like peppermint. But once it gets so greasy, once it gets on something, you're not getting it off. So this thing is going to be pretty much covered in it. If you guys are still watching this video, y'all are troopers. Come on now. This will probably end up being two videos, let's be honest. Alright, so we'll go do there's going to be two more passes. This pass and then a final pass to rewind it. This one I can see the images pretty clearly on. The other one they're all smeared and it's like they've been sitting in the, on the floor and something wet for years. And the film, the colors and everything just bled through itself. And there's just no way to recover that. This one here, this one shows promise, and so is that other one. So we'll give these two a shot. It's got some stuff coming through, it just doesn't look great. It doesn't look good at all, actually, but... This is some of the worst film I've seen come through the store. Usually this stuff is in pretty good shape, and this will be the first time that I haven't really been able to get good stuff off of uh, everything it's kind of a it's kind of upsetting but it is what it is and this one's I mean just it's unfortunate
fuck does this happen? This stuff can't just be sitting in water. We got a little bit of a baby there. So there's something there. Let's see how it clears up. This one's not looking very good either. best thing in the world to happen you know but you see this every once in a while you're gonna the more and more the longer people wait to get this stuff done the, I mean film's got the longest shelf life of any of the media of the formats but it's just it's old now like it's still past its shelf life you know if you maintain it and keep it in a good perfectly climate controlled area then it can still last longer than than some but if it's in unideal conditions then there's just nothing you can do this is the best shot I've gotten so far is of this baby here so that'll be a little bit of something but that's it's not looking good this is starting to kind of show a little bit of something, but I don't know. Really won't be able to tell until it's done, but it's definitely not looking good. All right, and of course the, oh man, I'm gonna have to do this one again because the computer shut off on me because I didn't plug in the friggin' charger. Ugh. Gotta put the charger in guys. It's okay, I'll just redo that one. Here we go guys, more, more customers, more customers. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, more videos to come. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of content. I'm just giving you guys something to watch all day, I guess. But uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.